Hi guys, I want to transform these photographs that you see in front of me into journal tags. So they started off as real plain old boring Kodak photographs and what I've done is on this one I've literally taken magazine images and collaged up. On this one I've actually physically altered and I'm going to show you the process on how to make this one in a second and I've done some stenciling, distressing and all sorts of spray painting. On this one I've literally used a sewing pattern to cover up the original photograph and used another sewing pattern of these lovely two girls and literally fussy cut. And on this one you see a mixed media approach to a old photograph. So if you've got photographs like me, I'm of that age that I've got photographs in my collection, I just want to share with you how you can alter them to make some wonderful journal tags to go in your junk journals. First of all, you're going to need an old photograph. As you can see, the darker the better, I would actually suggest, because what we're going to do is actually rub away at this photograph. So this is just a plain old photograph in my collection. We're going to take stencils. I've got this stencil here. doesn't matter what stencil you have, but I would suggest it goes underneath. I'm going to turn it around so it is the correct way. I'm going to take the old photograph. Don't panic if you haven't got any. This is not going to take anything more expensive than an average emery board. With your emery board, your photograph, your stencil, what we're going to do is perform magic. You literally are going to rub all over very fiercely your photograph. Because what we want to do is transform this photograph into a mixed media piece something that doesn't resemble the original photograph so as you can see i am applying lots of pressure it doesn't really matter if it moves around admittedly i'm obviously being really quite quick for the camera but as you can see you can now realize why I consider the darker section, the darker the photograph, the better, because it is really showing up a lovely transfer. So, there we go. That's sufficient for me to give you your demo. I'm going to take this stencil away. Now, if you've got, in my collection, I've got pretty much two Distress Inks by Tim Holtz. I'm going to use this Distress, distress Ink by Tim Holtz which I believe is, what, let me have a look, is a coral in colour. It's got a lovely spongy nib, and I'm just going to literally, quickly, go over the top. This is not about spending lots of time on your journaling tag, because we are basically aiming, so look, that is literally covered to the gumballs, so much so that I've squeezed it and it's leaking, but we'll deal with that in a second. Now, what I need is a mop-up wipe or a tissue of some district. Like everything, I have now managed to lose my mop-up tool. So we are going to use just a plain old sponge and we are just going to rub it all over this photograph. It's a little bit darker than I particularly want because I was hoping to find a baby white but in all good little tutorials it's missing and I've obviously got myself into a right old pickle. Okay, so we've got the coral, we've got the original photograph. I've used a makeup sponge because that's close to hand. The next stage is I'm going to use a few more stencils. But this time I'm going to look for something slightly different. So let's take this stencil here. It's got these lovely hexagons. I've got some acrylic paint. I've got some Memory Keepers scrapbook colour in this lovely lavender. 
I've got another makeup sponge and what I'm going to do is take the lid off and just put a little bit onto this makeup makeup sponge Get a little bit overzealous here and we are just going to apply randomly stamping across it is about altering that original image but it seems an awful shame to have all these wonderful photographs in my collection doing nothing so there you go so we've got some hexagons going on we've got a stencil going on we've got original photograph and we've got the Tim Holtz distress ink applied over the top next stage right this is obviously not going to dry in the time that I want it to so I've got one that I've prepared earlier so a very similar photograph and ideally you do not allow your stencils to dry out you should go across to a sink and give them a good wash but in this case we've got this one here it's got the acrylic lilac paint from memory keepers it's got the same stencil it's got the same distress ink next thing we can do is stamp over the top now what i'm going to use is a stays on ink it happens to be one of my personal favorites this is because it can go pretty much on any type of mixed media i've got a tim holtz stamp all ready to go on this particular acrylic block now you take the stamp to the block apply ink you can see it's a messy old process but hey um mixed media can be that way inclined and then i am just going to stamp just quite randomly apply this stamp here into the lighter section doesn't matter how much comes out you know i mean i am actually going to reproduce this because what we're going to do is put some die cuts on the top in a minute i just really want to share with you how quick this process is in making something that looks pretty much different without actually having to go to lots and lots of effort so this is done in real time I mean I don't expect you to be quite as quick as myself so that's my ink done that's a bit of stamping you can apply as many stamps as you like next let's find some die cuts now I've got some coffee stain die cuts in my collection so I've got a little ice cream tub here I've just got a few more of those already produced photographs so what I'm going to look for in here is let me have a little look let's see so these are going to be large journaling tags and I've got this lovely image here I mean this was brought from the 99p shop is that too big to go across you are beautiful I think we can go across with that and we can cut off any access if we need to in a second we could also look in this box I'm sure I've got a few more roses I mean you can look in your collection I like to also use postal stamps I think they are brilliant and let's little look I've got these lovely rose trim here I'm just going to use a glue stick so I've got my glue stick I've got my little die cuts let's apply that straight onto this little photograph and as you can see dare I say it when I coffee stained it I did use my plastic doilies and I am just literally liberally applying this glue stick to this image and when you finish with your photograph remember you can actually put coffee stained paper at the back of it this way it will make it easier for you at a later date to actually do some journaling on look at the colour of my fingers so there we go we have now got you are beautiful and I personally think that I'm going to put these roses at the top here shouldn't take long 
because what you want to do is be able to make these wonderful journaling tags as quickly as you possibly can so you can concentrate on your lovely journal pages. So that gives you a little bit of a mixed media journal tag all done very quickly this is a set of die cuts that I picked up from the pound stock I've coffee stained them I've taken an old photograph in my collection I've altered it using stencils and an um, emery broad and there you go you've got something straight away you go and stick some nice coffee stained paper on the back there and you've got an extra wonderful tag if you want don't get me wrong you can actually make it so it's into a physical journal tag but I personally think that is a real great way of using up some of your junk in your collection that you're never going to put into a scrapbooking book or into your photograph album anyway guys I will catch up with you soon and speak to you later Bye-bye.